Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to open up some happy mail from cloth and paper and this is not a big order but I think I'm gonna follow up with the things that I like the most. So I'll go ahead and open this right now. All right so here we are. It is quite heavy but it's not a lot of things. I thought that I want to just kind of go ahead and add a couple of things to my collection. I thought I'm gonna have a little bit of fun because I get a lot of points from my subscriptions and I decided to treat myself. So let's see what's inside. So this is cloth and paper clip. I already have a couple of clips from cloth and paper. So here is the one that came in the subscription. The coolest thing about this clip is that you can have it uh, with the cloth and paper logo and without. So here's the black one. There we go. I'm gonna add this to my collection. All right. Now, now this is Uniball one. It is such a beautiful black design. I mean, this pen is this pen is absolutely amazing. So I'm very excited about this one. It's beautiful. If you're thinking about a pen that has this beautiful balance, no matter what you do with that, you're super super comfortable. And then this is just the right amount of grip too. I think I will have to get those in every color. I know it's ridiculous, but it is what it is. I have a couple of sticky notes from cloth and paper, but I thought Mamo would be amazing. All right, so here it is. They're not very thick compared to normal. This is a little bit on the thinner side, but not overly thin. So I'm looking forward to use those. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one and place it in my inbox. By the way, this inbox is incredible. If you know, you know. I think it's one of the best purchases from cloth and paper. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this for now. I received this message notebook uh, and I completely and utterly fell in love with it right away. Um, the only thing I was apprehensive about is like you see how this has a teeny tiny little graph and this one has a bigger graph. It's quite heavy, to be honest, and it doesn't say how many sheets you get here, but let me go ahead and open it. And I will go ahead and compare it to the A5. So if you were to have it in your planner, this is where the line goes. Now paper-wise, they're about the same, and the size of a graph would be about the same as in Closing Paper's executive notes. So I think overall, I'm very, very happy with this, because once I had this little notepad with progress tracker, I was going through them so fast and I had to slow down, and because the whole layout was so amazing, I didn't really care for the bottom to be honest, but this was just perfect. I enjoyed using that and I think this is gonna be a perfect solution for me to jump from here to here. Also, I know that they have covers for those and this is gonna be quite a carry, but I think I'm gonna leave it on the table and have that as a notepad. Now there is an invoice here and a couple of freebies. There is ambition, moment, illusion, and huggy. I think I already have one of those. So this is it for my little haul. And and if you're curious about their planning inserts i have a couple of them to show they arrived in my subscription box but i'm excited to go ahead and start using them so here's your horizontal pick insert then you have vertical weekly for the month of august here and also weekly schedule one so i will play around with everything and see which one i like the most this is the square flags and circle over here that I enjoyed using Angora the most and that pairs really well with this matchstick. So this is your Angoras with matchstick palette number one. They somewhat go together. This is Mykonos, also falls in the same category. Last year I was absolutely obsessed with the dark grays and blues so i enjoy that 
and then there is aspen color for you as well so you can compare this one for the colors this is also happened to be one of my favorite sticky notes but i believe they only have them in the subscription and this is continuing team for the time block stickers this mykonos over here and this one they have a little bit of a i would say inconsistency in, in color they're not clashing per se but this one leans a little bit more green but that's okay it all kind of flows together because sometimes you just want all kind of stuff this is again angora tends to be a little bit more so on the warmer side in comparison you see how this angora square clags with angora don't really go together however this aspen and ash have a little bit more in common so this aspen ash and angora all right so this is look time block stickers and blue lagoon they go really good together with the volume one. Oh, and i did not forget this is little folder that says to keep you can store any kind of receipts over here this is very nice i think i'm gonna keep it possibly even punch through this not sure but i'm excited using this pen oh my god i am super excited i've been i was trying to justify buying this will be my favorite pen now i want to show you in your shopping for the inserts this is meeting notes project log insert right here and this is the top pages so you have task and graph notes here we go and this is their graph if you're interested in checking out my other video about another shopping haul and clothing paper feel free to follow the link it will be in the description and i will try to link this video here as well as always thank you for stopping by my channel and if you watched all the way to the end please give me a thumbs up i will really appreciate it and as always all of the things i mentioned earlier will be linked i will see you in my next video because my planner flip through is very very overdue i hope i will be posting that video soon i will see you later in my next video goodbye